Hello and welcome to a new video on neural networks, machine learning, and MQL5. So today we're going to be looking at the neural network class. So we developed the neural network. Now we're going to use it in a trading strategy, okay? So here are the imports or the includes. So we have the neural network class. We have trade, account info, position info, and order book, okay? So a lot of you have been asking about uh, Delta. Um, Delta uses a uh, data structure called order book. We're not going to implement it in this video because it's beyond the scope of this video, but we will get to it uh, sooner or later. So uh, we're going to instantiate these classes. Uh, here's the account info, trading and position, and the order book for the ask and the bid. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some input data. So we have a lot size take profit, stop loss, magic numbers, number of neurons, slow MA, fast MA, and RSI period. And what we're going to do is we're going to instantiate two neural networks, one for the buys, one for the sells, and their input sizes are going to be 10 by 28. The output size is 10 here, so the output size is going to be 10 by 10. And uh, our optimization rate is about 0 0.001, and we have a learning rate of 1. And here we have uh, some declaration of some variables that we're going to use. We have a temp matrix 10 by 28, temp matrix B 10 by 28, tracker, time tracker, temporary ask, uh, delta tick, delta tracker, delta previous, and delta derivative. And delta derivative is going to be our value for uh, delta. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, trade on the 930 candle um, and we're going to give the neural network delta and the moving averages because that's kind of like what I use okay so all of our trading and everything that we need to do is going to be between 1600 and 1740 okay so nothing in this code is not going to execute outside of this okay now if we have a position open right we're going to get the time the, the time it opened and we're going to get the current time we subtract them and if it's gr uh, greater than 60 seconds right then we're going to close that trade now for delta we just have to get the ask the bid the volume and then we insert them into the order books and then we do some uh, calculation here so this is the unique ask unique bid um, we get the size so on and so forth and here are some temporary variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate delta. I'm not really going to show you how, but you know, that's what you get um, right now. I will do a video on delta. Don't worry, it, it, it will be here. But it's just very time consuming and I don't have time to go over it in this video. So this is the delta derivative. This is what we're uh, looking for. This is going to be uh, what we see in the bars, right? Um, and then what we're going to do now that we have delta, is we're going to look at top-down analysis of the moving averages and uh, other stoch other oscillators like RSI and stochastic oscillator. So what we're going to do is we're going to declare a input underscore x matrix. It's going to be 10 by 28. We're going to fill it with zeros and we are going to um, get the fa uh, slow MA and the fast MA and we're going to get the RSI, we're going to get the stochastic. And in this case, I really don't have the RSI or stochastic in use because I'm getting good results without it. Um, may not need it, but I coded it in there just in case. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to fill the uh, input matrix with the moving average uh, delta. So what does that mean? So we're going to take the strong moving average minus the weak moving average and we sign in function that plus one divided by two. So if the strong is greater than the weak, it's a one. If the strong is less than the weak, uh, then it is zero. And the neural network really appreciates ones and zeros. Uh, you can throw the data in raw, but it just doesn't always do better. Sometimes one of the problems in machine learning is not just the data, but how you put the data into the neural network, okay? We have a 0.5 here, 
and uh, this is a holder for the RSI, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say delta has got like, delta is really, really important, so it's gonna get two columns, or, or two rows, whatever. So if uh, delta is positive, it's going to get a one. If delta is negative, it's going to get a zero. And we're, then we can print out this input matrix. And when we uh, are done that, we can throw the input matrix in to these to the prediction. Okay, so we're going to throw this into the neural network, and we're going to get a prediction. It's going to be called the prediction by and prediction cell. Okay, now if prediction by is greater than the prediction cell, and there are no positions open, and we're at our destined time, 16:30, we are going to uh, take a buy. Okay, so that's the code for the buy. And we have to have a take profit and stop loss. And so that calculation is in there. Now, if the buy is less than the uh, sell, then we are going to take a sell. And we have to have positions equal to zero. And it's 1630. Very, very nice. And then the tracker. Okay, so this is, uh, the, this is the tricky part. I think this is kind of like the trickiest part of the code is that you have to think about how would I get the correct, how would I correct the neural network, right? I've made a prediction, um, I have the correct uh, answer, I need to throw that into the neural network, okay? So at 1630, we are going to get the ask price, we're gonna get that time, and we're gonna get the input matrix, okay? And we're gonna set, we're gonna use this little tracker variable to do an on off switch, okay? And when this tracker turns off, so this one turns the tracker on, when this one turns the tracker off, okay? Um, so when this is true, when this is false, and the current time is less than, uh, minus the time check is 61 seconds, and then we get the current ask, and we basically take the delta between the current ask and the temporary ask, right? We, we subtract the two. So if, the correct, um, if the correct value, right, the correct value here, or this core value, whatever, the is bull, is greater than zero, then that means we have a bull candle, right? So we tell that the, uh, we tell the neural network, hey, the buy worked, so it gets a one. We tell the cell network, hey, you got the wrong answer, zero, okay? And then we throw that in, we throw those matrices into the train, now we do the converse, right? If it was a bear candle, right? Correct is uh, less than zero. The buy was incorrect and the sell was correct. And then we throw those into the neural network, okay? And then we just update the, uh, the current time and the tracker, okay? So very, very simple code. I think it's less than 400 lines there. Very, very nice. Uh, we used a neural network to uh, train on delta and the moving averages. So what does this look like? All right, so the first thing that we're going to notice is that we need to look at the inputs, okay? So the inputs, you can, ha you can have any number of neurons you want. You can have a you know, 100 moving average, you can have a 70 moving average, whatever, right? These values need to be optimized. So in uh, MT4, or sorry, this is MT5, in MT5, you can select fast based genetic algorithm and you can select sharp ratio max. And I'm not gonna do that here. But once you optimize it, you're going to get a list of values, okay? You're gonna get a whole bunch of these uh, um, values right here and it's going to tell you what the optimum hyperparameters are, okay? So it says, hey look, 30 neurons worked really well, the moving average was 100 and the fast moving average was 70 and I got a sharp ratio of 51.70. That's obscenely high. That's really, really good. And so what I can do is I can right click this and I can run single test. And then I'm gonna go over to the graph and I'm gonna run this test. I can see like, yeah, this did pretty well, right? This is a, a neural network that has been given delta and moving average, which we think are correlated with that candle and uh, we ran a genetic algorithm to find the best parameters for that setup. 
and you know we uh, <laughs> we ran the code and we ran the back test on US 100 the Nasdaq and we can see this huge uh, just positive line up so let me go up like this very 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 beautiful um, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, like share and subscribe once again as a disclaimer I'm not a financial advisor uh, I'm not really claiming any financial advice I just like to code I just like to put my stuff out there uh, there's no guarantee of code all code is as is so hopefully you enjoyed the video like share and subscribe